coming in hot. Hello everyone and welcome to see this tutorial. Now from the, the previous video, I'll put the link in the description. We looked at how to draw the development of a hexagonal pyramid. Now the question has been changed a little bit. It is now being cut by an inclined plane at an angle of 45 degrees, 30 millimeters away from the base. So 30 millimeters away from here, a cutting plane has been introduced and I've been asked to draw the true shape and to develop this lateral surface so you have to work on this again all right so let's begin we are going to draw before we start anything let's let's extend these points five and six to the top This one, two, this one. Yeah, let's join them also here. So two and five will be joined to the center. And six and three will also be joined. Right. So now let's let's draw another line through the midpoint they measure the, the 30 millimeters away from the base so this is 30 millimeters right so you are going to mark that's 30 i'm going to project it to this line so that's where the cutting plane is going to be so i'll pick my 45 degrees square I'll place it here. Now introduce the cut. And that's the cut. Now we are going to produce the true shape, the sectional true shape on the plan so now wherever this line now let's take a close look at something four is coming here and it goes this way one is also going this way four going wherever it meets with the cutting plane you're going to draw a vertical line downwards to in intersect the four line five and three are going together so it goes this way they will draw a vertical line to intersect it so let's begin so for four I'm going to draw the vertical line then for five and three I'm going to draw this vertical line too then for six and two same thing. And finally, one. All right, so we are we have done the projections. Let me deepen it a bit. Right. So now let's mark the point. This is point one. This is two and six. This is five, sorry, three and five. Then finally back to point four. And these are point one. I'm going to join with straight lines. So this goes this way. 
This goes this way. This goes here. This also goes here. This goes this way. Finally. This goes this way. So I'm going to deepen it. So we have have this. We have this. We have this. 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 And finally, we have this. All right. So this is the top view, the sectional top view. Now we have been asked to draw the true shape too. So I'm going to project these lines at an angle of 90 degrees because that's the only angle that if you look at it through you get the true shape. It must be at an angle of 90 degrees. I'm going to pick a 45 degrees line. I'm going to place it along it and now extend. Then move move on to the next one. This I extend. Then this. Then I extend. Then finally this one. And I extend. So now we have number four going this way. Comes here and it goes here. Five and three this way. Six and two this way. And finally one this way. Next, you need to draw a line parallel to this cutting plane over here. And that one, and that line is going to be our point, our line four one. So I'm going to pick my C square and now align it along with this. Now support it and I'll move. Now draw. And so that line becomes my new reference point. So we have this point to be my point four and this point to be my point one. So now let's begin drawing the tree shape. So we have these two points here. Now for five and three is this way. So I'm going to stand at this on this line. I'm going to pick this distance. Then I'm going to follow through this the line. I'm going to stand here. And you scribe an arc above and below. Next, I'm moving on to two and six. I'm going to stand here, pick this distance, which is the same as distance to below. I'm going to stand here and you scribe an arc and you scribe an arc. Then finally, we have this point. So let me deepen it out. Right, so we have this point as our point four. Then this point as our point one. Then this point, this point, this point. So now this will be our point five. This will be our point three, our point six, and our point two. Right. I'm going to join them with a straight line. So we have this one going this way. Then we have this. 
Okay, put this. Like this. Like this. And finally, this. Alright, so we have this to be our tube shape and this to be our sectional view. So let me section this one. Now let's develop the natural surface. Now before we start, you need to project these lines to this side. So let's do that. So I'll draw a line through. Draw a line through. Draw a line through. Finally this. I'm going to pick my compass. Stand at this point open to this one which will be the same as this one then i'm going to stand here and draw an arc next i'm going to stand here pick this distance Stand here and draw an arc. Finally, I'm going to pick. We have two more. We have this one. Pick this distance. Stand here and you scribe an arc. Then Finally, this and this. Let's stand here and scribe an arc. Alright, so next I'm going to trace the point. So let's start. We have one. So we have four here. It goes this way. It goes this way. The first one so we have this to be a point now five and three are moving together five and three which corresponds with this one so five and three next six and two and uh, this one, so you have two here and six, and finally one, which is this one and this one. All right, next, I'm going to join them with straight lines. So this comes this way it comes this way it comes this way it goes this way it goes this way Finally, comes this way. So you have to take in this one. This one. Take in this one.
All right, so we have this to be the development of this. So we have this to be the true ship, this to be the section out of view, and this to be the development. Thank you very much. I'll see you in our next video.